celebrities are like nuggets from McDonald's after a Friday night out, one second they're here and the next they're gone. Since we're eagle-eyed and endlessly obsessed with famous people hitting our soil, we've gathered all the intel you need on the celebrities in Australia right now. And apparently not one but two big ol' Hollywood stars have been hanging out and said, Jason Momoa and Eva Mendes. Not together, though. Now that travel is back, filming is alive and movies need people to promote them again, celebrities are all swarming to Australia. Here's your no bullshit guide to which celebrities are currently gallivanting about the country. Who knows, you could be the one to run into Oprah at Booze Juice. It's very unlikely, but never say never. Jason Momoa Aquaman himself Jason Momoa has been popped hanging out at the opera bar in Sydney's Circular Quay. Damn, I hope he got some nice pics for the gram. The ultimate goal of any opera bar visit. According to the Daily Telegraph, Momoa's on a break from his new Apple TV Plus show Chief of War. It's been filming in New Zealand so hey, why not hop across the old pond? He was also spotted having brekkia fills in Bondi Beach. I wonder if he was tempted to hit up the Bondi to Kuji walk afterwards? Get out those Lululemon leggings, Jason. A Bill's staff member said Momoa was super friendly, kind and just really down to earth, for the Daily Telegraph. He also happily took pics with fans afterwards. Aw. Eva Mendez The celebs are clearly FKN loving Sydney's eastern suburbs because Eva Mendez was recently spotted in Rose Bay with her daughter. Now I saw me, her husband Ryan Gosling is living down under filming his new flick The Fall Guy. If only it was the Barbie movie. Mendes was with her daughter Esmeralda at a playground, according to the Daily Mail. She also shared an Instagram bit of herself on a rope climbing frame. Hey, they're fun for everyone, what can I say? Now I'm seriously wondering if all these celebs got any day trip tips from Anya Taylor-Joy, another famed Sydney fan, Billie Eilish everyone's favorite big t-shirt Queen Billie Eilish kicked off her Australian tour in September and considering her first show was in Sydney, it makes sense she'd be spotted about town. Storeroom Vintage, a second-hand shop on Enmore Road, posted a few TikToks that featured Eilish digging through oodles of boxes, posing outside the store and also walking out the store in her new kit. Eilish must have had a very busy day cause she also appeared on Abby Chatfield's radio show Hot Nights with Abby Chatfield in the same fit she was wearing when she walked out of storeroom vintage. The duo spoke about the motivation behind Eilish's song Your Power and the fact people can be swept up by how chill some of her songs sound, rather than listening to, at times, the heavy lyrics. I have this ongoing thing that irks me and I don't know really what to do about it where I'll put a song out where I'm saying that I think needs to be said and people are like, sick song anyway, the singer told Chatfield. Tell him, I say dot Dev Patel yes, Dev Patel recently helped break up a knife fight in Adelaide, which was news in itself. But the fact he was in the city in the first instance was intriguing, to say the least. It's unclear how long Dev has been in Adelaide and if he is permanently relocated there or is simply hanging out but it looks like he landed sometime in 2021. The Mirror reported back in September 2021 that he was residing in Adelaide with his girlfriend Tilda Kapamerve, an actress who hails from the city. Recently, El Australia confirmed Tilda had relocated back to her hometown with Dev at some point in 2021, for the filming of The Lost Flowers of Alice Hart. According to Variety, filming began in October that year. Which brings us to the year of the Lord 2022, when NME said Dev was living in Adelaide following the whole knife fight situation. So we don't know if he is living here permanently or will skedaddle in due course. Does it matter? Not at all. Let the man and his gorgeous girlfriend live in peace in the city of churches, we say. Enjoy the cold, metallic embrace of the iconic Malls Balls. Louis Tomlinson, one of the few remaining One Direction members to not have some kind of scandal attached to their name, Louis Tomlinson, landed in Brisbane. He was here to tour his 2020 solo album Walls in a rescheduled show from two years ago. Damn COVID taking everything away from us. I am really, really excited to be coming back to Australia, he said in a press release. Definitely one of my favorite countries in the world. Thanks for making it all possible. One of, Louis? Why can't we be your number one? You've been our number one for years. 
Kim Kardashian exactly one month after we were pranked into believing Kim Kardashian was in the country, we can finally confirm she bloody made it. Not to be dramatic but the saga of whether Kim was in Australia or not gave me mild trust issues. I know it makes literally no difference to my life and the nature of the celebrity beast is that rumors run rampant, but I just wanted to know the goddamn truth. I can't e stand having egg on my face. I can, however, bid farewell to Aoki Visage because she's genuinely here. According to E! News, Kim touched down at Cairns Airport for a romantic rendezvous with her former BDE boo Pete Davidson. Before Kimmy jetted off, a source told E! News, Kim is heading to Australia to visit Pete this weekend. She wanted to spend time with her kids before she left and did some special travel with them. Now she's off to see Pete and is very excited. Per the Daily Mail, the couple stayed at the Silky Oaks Lodge, which is located in the Daintree Rainforest in North Queensland. If you ask me, I'm getting ooh deja vu to win Kath, Kim and the gang stayed at the Hyatt Regency Coolum. Let's pray Kim, Kardashian, not Craig, and Pete don't get sprung for coconut tampering, the greatest sporting crime of all. The news came after gossip guru Dumoy mentioned there might be trouble in paradise regarding Kim's accommodation. On July 9, it was confirmed that Pete would be crashing at a four-star hotel while filming his latest film Wizards. Judging by the fact that rooms at the Silky Oaks Lodge can cost up to $5,000 a night, however, I think the accommodation is going to be just fine. It's poetic to be writing this update one month since Kim was seemingly spotted in a far north Queensland cafe with Pete. They sent their security detail in, and they had a little look at the menu, then asked if we had room for a couple of private guests, who are hoping to take over the inside, but Annika Cafe Bar Kitchen Manager Matt Black told the ABC. Sure enough, in walked bloody Kimmy K and Pete Davidson. We had to put our phones out on the counter. But according to the Daily Mail, Kim Kardashian actually wasn't in Australia at all. As pointed out by the Daily Mail, Kim Kardashian was actually pictured out on a Tuesday night in Los Angeles. I know she's got a private jet but even Kim couldn't get from America to Australia that quickly. Then, a representative for Pete Davidson seemingly confirmed Kim was actually still in LA. Pete is currently in production in Australia without Kim, the spokesperson said, per the Daily Mail. According to 7 News, the OG cafe then refused to comment on whether Kim actually visited it. And those gorgeous, gorgeous beach pics which looked startlingly like far north Queensland? They seem to actually be from Tahiti. Though TBH, Tahiti has nothing on Port Douglas if you ask me. Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom Katy Perry and her gorgeous gorgeous husband Orlando Bloom landed in Sydney on June 15th. They brought with them their adorable bub Daisy Dove, so if you see a hooded woman pushing a pram around, it could very well be the woman who once penned Do You Ever Feel Like a Plastic Bag? The pair were reportedly seen hopping in a private jet to Cairns, where Orlando Bloom will be shooting some scenes for the upcoming comedy flick Wizards. There's no word on what Katie is doing down under but she's definitely here. If I was in a relationship with Orlando Bloom I too would be following him around everywhere. Pete Davidson speaking of Wizards, Pete Davidson, the lead actor for the film, is also here. He'll be filming on the Gold Coast alongside German actor Franz Rigowski. The flick is said to feature the duo as operators of a beach bar who, after coming across some stolen treasure, have to deal with all the chaos that ensues. Recently Pete was spotted by paparazzi at a time zone arcade in Cairns. Yes, even celebrities want to have a crack at winning 5,000 tickets for the mini iPad. Gaiden Matarazzo We recently spotted Gaiden Matarazzo from Stranger Things at an ice skating rink in Melbourne. Does this make us members of a secret paparazzi society? I sure hope not because that sounds scummy as fuck, but it was pretty cool to spot a celebrity on our own while enjoying Rising Festival. Gaiden was here to promote the brand new season of Stranger Things which currently has everyone FKN hooked. Ryan Gosling Another international celeb in Sydney is the aforementioned Mr. Ryan Gosling, goose if you're nasty. Warner Brothers Pictures recently revealed a pic of Gosling as Ken for his upcoming movie Barbie, so as you can imagine the man is very busy lately. Image, Getty Images, 